I just woke up. And no, haha, I didn't wake up in this car. I don't live here. I have a place that I live. But I just woke up. So I thought I'd record a video to give you some channel updates. We got an office. Haha, ha, no, it's not this car. We actually have an office. We got it in the Tri-Cities area, and us having an office will really be a game changer to have a place to record and edit video. So far, I'm the only one coming into the office. The boss. <laughs> is still working from home. Sometimes we'll have video calls. But for the most part, he just sends me messages and tells me what to do. We are almost, we are almost at, at 400, 400 subscribers. subscribers. And you, of course, of all people, of all viewers, of all humanity, know what that means. If you haven't already, please go ahead and decimate that red subscribe text. It's not that hard. Okay, it's a little hard. But if you can imagine that it was easier and just do it, we would really appreciate it. Especially because we got to keep the lights on. In the office, again, not my office. I am not saying this is the office, but we do need to keep the lights on in my office and in my car, but not too long because I've done that before and it drains the battery. I was trying to keep the lights on. Now for a little bit of scandalous news. Someone running a bot farm is a little worried that one of their charisma bots has become sentient. The reason they're worried about this is because it recently asked for a bag of chips. This is a very human thing to do, but we don't know if they are talking about potato or computer chips. Also, the bots are only supposed to subscribe to the owner's YouTube channel. But this particular bot, the one that asked for chips, also just subscribed to Joe Rogan. This is entirely possible. The Pokemon video that I am working on is currently in production hell. Just keep that in mind, but I will say the footage... Mm, the footage is like... Mm, the footage is like, mm, the footage is like a fine wine. Mm. But I will say though that the footage mm, for the Pokemon video, mm, the footage is absolutely beautiful. Oh wait here, I think someone's sexting me. Let me check. No, it's just a regular text. Anyways, and for this last section of the video, I just wanted to go ahead and read an email that we got. Now, as you know, we set up an email account to be more relatable. Email is a very popular form of communication. I don't know how much I need to fill you in. It takes place over the internet. It's like electronic mail. It's a little bit faster than snail mail, but it's a little bit slower than texting. It's kind of in between the two. Anyways, we set up an email account to be more relatable, especially to the boomers who use it as a primary form of communication besides Facebook Messenger. Now we got an email on our email account and I will go ahead and read it to you. Now, this email is from a very well-known large company that I'm sure you've heard of. The subject of the email is security alert, so I haven't read it yet, but I just saw the email and I'm a little worried about it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and read it with you and we can work through this together. I will go ahead and read the email now. We noticed a new sign-in to your Google account on an Apple iPhone device. I have an iPhone, but honestly, it could be anybody. I don't know if it was me. I don't know if I've been hacked. If this was you, oof, I hope it's me. You don't need to do anything. If not, oh! I hope it wasn't not me. If this was you, I hope it was me. You don't need to do anything. If not, we'll help you secure your account. Check activity. I don't know what that means. So I'm a little worried about it. Still trying to discern this very cryptic email from Google. I don't really know what to make heads or tails of it. I would never was much of a coin flipper, but if I had to pick one, I would probably say heads. I'd say heads 50% of the time, the other 50% I'd probably go with tails. So that was Vloggy Auto 4 and I am sweating so I'm going to turn the AC back on in my house, I mean car.